Hello everybody, welcome to the absolute best way to get Super Mario 64 DS to have analog controls. Right now I'm using it. As you can see, there is perfect analog motion, and you don't need to use Joy to Key or Pinnacle Game Profiler or any mouse simulation software. It has auto run, so that your once your analog stick is fully extended, you run. And there's also camera control with the other stick, which is great too. So let's get into it. Pause this. Actually, I'm going to close it. So the program is called Tox Input, and it is on this Reddit page that I've linked to through a comment on one of my older videos. Every link that you need is going to be linked in the description of this video. The first thing we need to go to is the GitHub page for Tox Input. So here it is. To download it, click Code, click Download Zip, then click Save. Next we need to get the latest version of Desmume X432R, which again is in the link in the description. So. Let's go there. So when you click that link, you should arrive here. Then go down here to this very tiny, not easy to see download button, and then click save. And then once you have that, you'll need to extract both of these. Finally, we need the European version of Super Mario 64 DS. I don't know if saves can be transferred, so that's unfortunate, but at least you'll have like the best way to do analog control. The gameplay is the exact same, so no need to worry about that. Once you have all those things downloaded, you can close your browser. Before you launch Desmume, make sure your controller is on. Next we need to set up Desmume, so double click that. Then go up to config, press 3D settings, and then select OpenGL X4, then click OK. Next we need to go to view, select screen size, go to 100% colon 50%, then go down and make sure horizontal align center is selected. And then this one is just personal preference, but I'm going to choose to align it to the bottom. Now we need to go to control config underneath config. Now we're going to map the buttons. So for the D-pad, use the physical D-pad on your controller, up, left, down, right. For the B, A, Y, and X buttons, I recommend going one-to-one -to, -one to the original location of the buttons on the DS. So B is where A is on an Xbox controller. A is where B is, Y is where X is, and X is where Y is. Start and select are where they are. And then L and R bumpers is what I recommend. But you can also use the triggers if your controller has that. Then click OK. Now we can open our Super Mario 64 ROM. Just drag it. Now what you need to do is open the Tox Input Master folder, navigate to bin, and then double click toxinput.exe. Now, Select Desmi Maze window and also select your controller and make sure all these options are enabled. Then you can minimize it. Now when you move around with the joystick, you should have full analog control, just like that. And also test out the rumble, do like a little go forward and then just immediately go backwards. You should feel it with Yoshi, just like this. I feel it right now. Test out, test out your other buttons. Test out the camera. Everything should be perfectly fine. This is the absolute best way to do this. The upsides to this are of course, entering a door or anything with your joystick extended will not cause the touchpad to reset and cause you to start running in circles backwards and stuff. Also, you have free movement of your mouse independent to your controls. So you can click anything on the screen, do whatever you want with your mouse while you're playing the game. Plus it's a lot smoother and there's no like bumpy mouse emulation that you have to deal with, which is great. So anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to add underneath the video, go ahead and do that. And yeah, that is all.